Hey guys, welcome to another video. You're watching Latest News UK, where we disclose credential and crispy news about the happenings in UK. So let's dive into our first news. Walk away now. Boers urged to end Brexit talks as Tories declare it time for a clean break. Tories MPs have said now is the time to quit Brexit trade talks with Brussels to reset the relationship after the European's shocking treatment of the UK. There are just three weeks until the end of the transition period and negotiators are desperately trying to thrash out a trade deal at the 11th hour. The European has refused to shift on its red lines, demanding Britain give the bloc continued access to its fishing waters and vow to follow Brussels rules and regulations. Blasted as NO10 retreats plan, Boris Johnson has said any deal must respect the UK's sovereignty but so far? His calls have fallen on deaf ears. Following the European's intransigency, Tories MPs have said the UK should walk away from the negotiating table and leave the transition period under a no-deal scenario. They've argued leaving under such circumstances would be to the benefit of the UK in the long run. Bracknell MP James Sunderland told Express.co.uk everything at the moment is in the gift of the European Union. What are we doing is seeking a free trade agreement with the Europe, our closest neighbor, in exactly the same way as Canada and other countries have done. At the moment, there's part of the Europe that thinks we're still part of the Europe. He said that while Britain must not kid ourselves that the disruption and the bureaucracy and the red tape would be detrimental to the UK, it would also impact the Europe and help reset free trade deal negotiations. He added, I suspect that a clean break might be necessary because we would then have to go back to the negotiating table next year and we'd go back as an equal negotiating partner as a sovereign nation. It may be the UK is in a much better place to insist on its demands. Tory Brexiteer Despens Swain also said leaving without a deal could improve the UK's negotiating hand. He accused the Europe of extortion with its demands in talks and said Brussels was treating us in a shocking way. The New Forest West MP told his website, in the longer run, rather than make some dreadful concessions at the last minute to avoid a year of chaos on January 1 lasting some weeks, in the medium to long term it would be much more healthy if we leave without a deal. It's going to be a bumpy ride but it might help reset the relationship and it might be the best way of achieving a deal. The Prime Minister has vowed to remain steadfast in his demands and not sell out the UK to secure a deal. On Thursday evening, he told his cabinet to now prepare for a no-deal scenario. However, he added, What I've said to our negotiators is that we've got to keep going. And we will. I will go to Brussels. I will go to Paris. I will go to Berlin or wherever to try to get this home. Former cabinet minister under John Major, John Redwood, has welcomed Mr. Johnson's firm stance. He said, The UK offer of a free trade deal is a generous one, given the large imbalance in trade. We regain our independence with no deal. Deal has to improve on that, not take it away. However, North West Leicestershire MP Andrew Bridgen has said there is no point continuing with the trade talks as the gulf between the two sides is still huge. He told Express.co.uk it was time for the UK to embrace no deal adding, the state of the negotiations is rather like a patient who's expired in hospital and all the concerned parties are stood around the bed, looking at the body and everyone knows that the patient has expired and can't be resuscitated, but no one wants to take responsibility for turning the life support off. Mr. Johnson and the European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen have agreed they will make a firm decision on the future of negotiations on Sunday. If they believe a trade deal looks unlikely, they will end negotiations and prepare to operate under World Trade Organization terms from the start of next month. This marks the end of this news here and I'll see you in the next one shortly, so stay tuned.